God loves you. God has created a universe that is attempting to illustrate this love to you. The problem that we have is that we are not becoming like little children and absorbing this universe. We have used our powerful intellects down a direction that is very unwise by walking away from God and becoming self-absorbed, self-reliant. And in this process, we just bring pain and suffering to ourselves. Once we connect or reconnect with God, which is a bit firstly about reconnecting to your own emotional self because that's essential, you'll reconnect to others as an automatic process and once you reconnect to God, you now have this ability to be in perfect harmony with love, truth and humility all the time, every single moment of your life. In that state, nothing can happen to make you sad. Nothing can happen to make you afraid. And that's the kind of life that was the potential that God offered us as a human race. We chose differently and we've got the different results that we could have had if we, if we chose this one that God, the path that God had left for us to follow, then we could have had completely different results. And so what I'd like to encourage you to do is it, it doesn't matter very much whether you, whether you believe what I'm saying to you about my own identity or any of those other things. All that matters really is that we all come to know ourselves completely and we desire to get to know God. And in that process, God's love as it enters us will transform us anyway. It will make us the person God designed us to be. Does that make sense? And the person God designed you to be far exceeds your imagination of what you should be. Do you understand? It far exceeds what you believe you could be. And this is what God offers us through this process. And the process is logical. It makes sense. There is nothing like mystical about it. But it is a process that is a true process we can follow that can be, in fact, scientifically proven and that we can embrace. So why wouldn't we choose to embrace it? You know, there's only one reason why we wouldn't choose to embrace it. And that's this big emotion. That's, that's what we see as our enemy. But fear, I don't see as our enemy. And the more the closer you become to God, you will not see as your enemy either. You'll see it as your friend, it tells you where you're out of harmony with God. So anything that tells you where you're out of harmony with God is your friend. Yes? So if you can allow yourselves to feel through your fears and become like little children, allow the emotions to rise up, connect to God, long for a connection with God, but also connect to these qualities. Like really focus on them. Like don't, don't, don't see anything else as your primary way of developing. You see, most people want to go to metaphysical things, spiritual body things, all these other things. If you can focus primarily on, is it loving, is it truthful, am I humble? Is it loving, is it truthful, am I humble? So much truth will come to you in that process. And in the first century I said, all these other things that you're seeking will be added to you. You know how you're seeking safety? Well, safety will be added to you. You know how you're seeking joy? Well, joy will be added to you. You know how you're seeking security? Well, security will be added to you. You know how you're seeking a knowledge of the universe? Well, that will be added to you too. And you know how you're seeking a loving relationship? Well, God's already designed one for you. That will be added to you as well. All these things will be added to you. All we need to do is embrace the basic principles. That's all we need to do. And if that becomes our focus in our life 
and we forget about all the other things even, if that is our focus, things will change very, very rapidly as a result. So that's what I'd like to encourage you to do.